In this video, I'm going to talk about how to configure your application. So in pretty much any application, and especially web applications, you're going to have some configuration that will vary depending on where your application is. So an example would be, let's say you're developing an application on your local computer and you have a local database set up that your application is going to connect to. Well, you would specify local hosts and then wherever your database is so you can connect to it and access the database in your program. Well, if you moved your program to a production server so other people can use your site as well, then you'll need to change the configuration to reflect the new database that you're pointing to because chances are you don't want to have the production server pointing to the database on your personal computer. You'd probably set up a database somewhere um, out there as well, just like your production server. So you change the location of this server in your configuration. So your configuration would differ between your development environment and the production environment. And there are other configuration values that you can specify as well. Some would be like secret keys for encryption. Uh, you can have API keys uh, if you want to connect to a certain API in your application. Um, the one that I'm going to demonstrate is debug mode in Flask. Like if you're developing on your local machine, it's nice to have debug mode enabled. But if you were developing something and then you pushed it to a production server so other people can use it, then you definitely wouldn't want debug mode on because if something went wrong, then they pretty much have complete access to your application. So because of that, Flask allows you to configure the um, configuration based off of a different setting. So I'll show you a couple of ways to configure in Flask. Um, there are more ways, but the two that I'm going to show you are pretty straightforward and they get the job done. So the first way is just uh, specifying the configuration in the same file that I'm working with here. So I already have this uh, basic Flask app set up. It has no configuration, so there are a few different ways to do configuration, and I'm not going to go into uh, these this first way. So app.config, and then some dictionary value. So if I did this, I'm configuring the application to have debug true, and debug is a special configuration value. So if I just did app debug. Uh, I can set that as true because it's important enough that Flask sets it directly on the app. I don't have to go into the configuration dictionary to set it. Um, I can also set it down here, debug equals true in the app run, and it does the same thing. But for this video, I just want to focus on uh, the way to configure from an object and from a file. And they're very similar, but in the object example, I'm going to put everything in here. And in the file example, I'll create a second file. So this will make more sense in just a second. So the configuration value that I want to modify is debug. So in Flask, um, configuration values should be all uppercase. If they're not uppercase, then Flask won't recognize them as configuration values when you try to uh, add them to your application. So debug equals true. And true should be um, just the initial character capitalized. So debug is true. Well, this alone doesn't do anything for me. Uh, after that, I need to use app.config.from object. So what this does is it's going to load the configuration op, uh, configurations with values from an object. And I need to specify that object. In this case, I'm just going to use the current object, which is underscore, underscore, name, underscore, underscore. And it's going to look for everything that is in all caps and add it to the configuration. So in this case, debug is true. So I'm going to add it to the configuration. So to demonstrate this, let me clear everything out and start the server. OK, so debugger is active. We can see that here when I start the server. If I change this to false, save the file, it will get restarted automatically. But the debugger is no longer active. And just to verify, I'll stop the server and start it again. And you can see it just tells me it's running, but it doesn't tell me that the, the debugger is active, because it's not. So if I set this back to true, we can see it one more time. 
stop the server, restart it. And the debugger is active. So great. So that's one way to import configuration values. I can just put them here. Well, you don't always want to put your configuration values in the same file as your code because what about the situation where I told you you have a development application and a production application where they have different configuration values. In that case, then you use uh, from, Py, from Py file or from environment variable. In this video, I'll only show you how to do from Py file, but from environment variable is very similar. So I'll create a new file and I'll call it um, myconfig. So myconfig.cfg and cfg is just short for configuration. And in here I'll put debug equals false and I'll save it. So since this is in the same directory as this file, I'll do appconfig.from pi file and the file name is myconfig.cfg. So let's see what happens. I have debug here and it's true and I load it from object, but then I have debug as false here and I load it from pi file. So if I restart the server, what happens? Scroll down. The debugger is not active. So the way it works is it loads from top to bottom. Uh, it starts with this one and it loads the configuration. And then it start, it goes here, and if this exists, it will overwrite the configuration from the one above it. So the one, the last one to get run is the configuration that gets used. And this is great if you don't actually have this file and you want to have the configuration in here anyway. And then you can create the file later and then just put it here without changing anything up here. And the new configuration will be uploaded over it. So if I change this to true, and restart the server. We can see that the debugger is active again. So those are two ways to import the configuration into your application. And let me just show you some of the other configuration values that are available. There, these are built-in configuration values in Flask, so debug, testing, propagate exceptions. And you can find these all in the Flask stocks. Um, server name, application, root, uh, trap HTTP exceptions. Uh, these are all useful in certain situations. And then any extensions that you use will also have their own configuration values. So an example would be if you use an extension for accessing databases, one of the configuration values will be the location of the database, and another would be the username and password. So those configuration values would be set in exactly the same way. They can be set in all uppercase, and then you put the value, and they can be either in your program file or they can be in a separate file so you can load them depending on which environment you want to use. So I know this video is pretty simple and I only showed you one example but trust me when I say that the configuration scales for all the other configuration values it just depends on what configuration we're using. Debug is a very common one and I'll always be using that one so I wanted to show you that in this video. So I hope you know how to use configuration values. And of course, if you look at the other videos in this course, you will see other configuration values being used and you'll be able to pick up uh, exactly how to use configuration values.